Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Fridays with e and P. Uh, wait, you're not Emily. I'm not. Emily is unfortunately sick today, so I am filling in for her. I'm Hallie. And I'm Patrick. The birthdays for today, November 6th, are Rachel Cheplick. And cat projects for this week are today, Friday, no November 6th, ushering for the fall play, start time 6.30 p.m. at Trafford Middle School. Saturday, November 7th, Norin Out, start time 9 a.m. Pet Friends, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And ushering for the fall play, start time 6.30 p.m. at Trafford Middle School. And Sunday, November 8th, second Sunday supper, start time 1.30 p.m. And ushering for the fall play, start time 1 p.m. The health assessments for today are Mrs. Radinsky. Attention all junior athletes. If you are interested in playing a sport in college, please sign up in the guidance office for an important message. And students taking SATs at Penn Trafford this Saturday, please arrive no later than 745. Bring a calculator, a number two pencil, and a snack. You will not be permitted to go to your lockers before or during testing. Also, have your ID and admission ticket. You cannot test without these. Testing should be over around 1 o'clock. Student Union will be taking up a spare change collection during all lunches Thursday, November 5th through Friday, November 13th to benefit the Veterans Drive. Please be your usual generous selves to help, to help those who served in our military service in defense of our great nation. Attention senior information regarding senior ads for the yearbook was sent to your home. Be sure to remind your parents that if they would like to purchase a senior ad, they must submit the order form along with payment to the yearbook staff no later than today. Be sure to support your classmates by attending Whoa. the PT Drama Guild's Fall Play Break a Leg. Times and dates are 7.30 p.m. for today and November 6th and 7th. And also there is a special 2 p.m. showing on November 8th, which is Sunday. Due to construction, the play will be held at Trafford Middle School Auditorium. Tickets are $5 and can be purchased at the door for this comedy. And like me and Hallie are totally in this show, so you totally should come and see us just to see our beautiful faces on stage. And in sports, Warrior Hockey had a tough loss against Armstrong last night. The Penguins play the Oilers tonight at 9. The football team hosts North Hills tonight at 7.30. The student section theme is Warrior Army. Pre-sale tickets are available during lunches today. The cost is $5 for students and $7 for adults. The weather forecast for today is a high of 72 degrees and a low of 47. It is currently 69 degrees and throughout the day you can expect some rain showers. For the football game tonight, it'll feel like 47 degrees and it'll be a little cloudy. Over the weekend, you can expect it to be cloudy on Sunday and have a sunny Sunday. Oh, cloudy on Saturday and sunny on Sunday. And the lunch menu for the day is chicken tender basket with whole grain roll, baked fries, and or baked beans. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I'm Hallie. And I'm Patrick. Please stay tuned after for a special video. And also stay tuned uh, fifth period for our special uh, What's Up Warriors. And good luck to anyone and everyone involved in the fall play. Have a wonderful Friday, Penn Trafford. Nowadays, you see kids texting friends while in an online community, receiving IMs, tweeting, blogging, and maybe even doing research for homework, all at the same time. On top of that, pictures and videos are shared online, and it all means that there is a lot of information that children are leaving behind. That's called a digital footprint. Their digital footprint is left behind for future college admissions or future employers to see. So it's wise to take a second to stop and think about what personal info they're giving out and leaving behind 
on networking sites, in profiles, blogging, even by texting on your cell phone. Almost all commercial websites and social media sites ask for personal information. And most sites now post privacy policies stating what they can and cannot do with this information. Sites aimed at kids 13 and younger must post their privacy policies according to the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, known as COPPA. It's a good idea to read privacy policies, but unfortunately, most are long and full of legalese. Privacy policies are designed to confuse. One of the big limitations of privacy policy is they can be changed overnight. One day there'll be a great policy, the next day you come back and it's not so great. Another limitation is that the company can go out of business. And guess what? The, the, the biggest asset of most of these companies is their information database. Look for these privacy seals of approval on a site. These sites agree to post their privacy policies and submit to audits. With every click, more and more personal data is being gathered about us at every turn. At the same time, it's becoming easier for others to access all this information. It might be data about your credit card purchases. It might be um, if you've ever had a criminal record or an arrest. Uh, it might be how you spend your money in general. What kind of a consumer are you? These databases play a, an important part in decisions about you, like renting an apartment, uh, getting a credit card, getting a job. So what we're seeing with our surveillance society is a lack of social forgiveness. Uh, something that you did a long time ago affects a decision being made about you right now. It's just as easy to develop a positive online reputation. It boils down to this fact in the cyber world. You are what you post.